What up, everyone? I'm Akasha. I'm with the new label Deep Coast based out of Richmond, Virginia. I'm excited to share with you what I've been cooking up here in my lab. What I've done is Frankenstein several programs and concepts together to create one big crazy live setup. Uh, by no means is this a practical performance setup, but it is lots of fun once it's up and going. I wanted to see how much I could put in one place before basically my computer couldn't take it anymore. Okay, so here's what I got. Uh, here you see five audio tracks. These are routed to go through my sends A, B, and C, where on each return is stutter edit waiting to glitch the incoming signals, either independently or simultaneously. This is done by incoming MIDI signals from my iPad running the Lemur app. What channels are affected by stutter edit are turned on and off by these four MIDI channels, record arm buttons that are mapped to my mixer's lit effect on buttons giving me visual feedback that both my mixer's effects and stutter edit are armed and ready to be used. I've set it up so that whenever I want, I can be glitching something with stutter edit and be able to crossfade over to a dry signal. That not only crossfades to a dry signal, but also sums what was three individual or four individual audio tracks to being one single master track. When I crossfade to a dry signal, all the tracks are then summed into one by routing the B side of the crossfader to be playing through four audio tracks that are set up to receive the signal of the returns at all times, but only output when crossfaded to. These four receiving audio tracks on the B side of the crossfader are then grouped together, outputting through the group to another track that has a buff eater by Twisted Tools, hosted inside the Native Instruments plugin reactor. I use buff eater as a really cool stretch effect, as well as an emulator that simulates the stretch that you get when you push or pull on a record. This again is being controlled by the iPad Lemur app where I'm using the Lemur faders to control the stretch effects inside of Buff Eater. This of course is all also able to be crossfaded back into a dry signal which also then splits the tracks back into four separate individual tracks. <laughs> driving force that really wanted, made me want to make this project was the fact that I'm lucky enough to have two iPads. Having these things, I've learned that there's a number of uh, insane new applications out there that's really became kind of a, a revolutionary new instrument. Uh, some of the leading things that I found out there that are really just mind-blowing are by this company called Twisted Tools, who has specialized in making reactor ensembles, uh, reactor being a native instruments program that is kind of a programmer's template to make effects and in instruments. And basically, Twisted Tools has made uh, several effects and in instruments that are just absolutely crazy. One being uh, scapes and another being buff eater, which are the ones that I use in my particular set. Uh, scapes is like this feedback delay generator that has up to six oscillators uh, putting off these different waveforms that play together and just make these ridiculous sounds. Uh, where this really gets wild is then I have it all controlled by the iPad lemurized scapes that's been created. Uh, this guy gives it away for free and basically it's the entire scapes program uh, visually shown on your iPad all able to be touched. Where this gets a little bit silly, but I said, you know, if the sky's the limit, uh, I used a second external sound card 
to run escapes in standalone mode using the second sound card as a output that then goes back into itself which is received as an inputting sound card inside of Ableton and then yet outputting out of the external mixer sound card, the Allen & Heath. So I always have scapes running out through the external sound card into Ableton to an audio track that has a record arm set to a button on my mixer that has a light to give me visual feedback whether it's on or off without having to look at the computer. <laughs> What you see here is a always in key system I have for my instruments. Basically, it's a MIDI effect rack that has the Ableton MIDI scale tool uh, being used with a chain selector. And whatever one of these uh, MIDI messages you launch corresponding to a particular scale uh, will then make your instrument play in perfect key. From there, I've just put my own instrument rack on it with some chosen uh, varieties here that's selected by the chain selector uh, with a macro knob being controlled by the lemur keyboard that I have on my iPad. The next fun thing that I have ready to go is a bunch of loops that are all broken down into individual follow action clips that are ready to be launched and mashed up on the fly on my two launch pads with my songs that I'm playing, allowing me to rock out with that classic mono vibe. I have the loops broken down into 8 or 16 parts with 16th note quantization. Okay, so we have an always in key scale system that with a custom instrument rack, we have loops of a variety of tempos all chopped up with 16 note quantization, giving us mono mashup control on the Novation launch pads. We have twisted tool scapes running in standalone mode, giving us crazy sound effects. We have our main audio tracks routed through stutter edit, ready to be controlled individually or all simultaneously, controlled with the iPad lemur, which is also on a crossfade that will sum all the tracks together into one, routed through buff eater, which allows to stretch all the, the mix as a whole, and then also crossfade back out of that to a dry signal. Last but not least, my latest endeavor has been to use the Resolume Max for Live Clip Launcher patch. This Resolume patch makes it so that any clip that I launch in Ableton launches a corresponding clip inside of Resolume. From here, the fun things I've done is map Resolume video effects to my mixer's audio effects, particularly the filters, dry wet effect knobs, and the EQ filters for all four channels. And then also inside of Resolume for each individual clip, I've chosen custom audio driven effects. I hope you found this interesting and thanks for checking it out.